Today we shall continue our talk about our genetic heritage. Open your books at page 17, exercise 1. Many of the following traits of characteristic are inherited or passed down to us from our parents. Which of these traits do you think can be inherited from one's parents? You see straight hair, gender, intelligence, eye color, blood type. Now let's listen to the new words. Write down them in your vocabulary. Listen and repeat. Calorie intake. Distinguish. Exposure. Factor. Gender. Genetically. Inherited. Native language. Offspring. Passed down. Partly. Tell apart. Trait. Let's watch the video. Where did you get that from? Where did you get that from? Have you ever noticed that some sisters and brothers look alike? Or have you ever had difficulty telling twins apart? Their inherited traits are what make their physical appearance so similar. An inherited trait is a particular characteristic or quality that is genetically passed down from our parents. These characteristics depend entirely on genetic factors and include gender, hair colour, skin colour, ear shape, blood group and inherited diseases. Offspring inherit genes from both the mother and father, which results in a combination of the parents' characteristics. Not all traits are inherited, however. Variation is also caused by environmental factors. For instance, your weight depends on your diet, calorie intake and lifestyle. Language is also not inherited. Adopted children who move to another country will quickly learn the local language and may even forget their native language. The majority of human characteristics are determined by inherent and environmental factors. Studies have shown that intelligence is partly inherited and partly learned. Similarly, our genes determine our natural hair colour, but exposure to the sun or hair dye can easily change that colour. It seems that we are all very different, but 99.9% .9 of all human DNA is identical. It's those few unique differences in our DNA that create the variety of characteristics we see around us. Now read the text and answer the questions. Why do siblings over-resemble one another? You see in the text, their inherited traits are what make their physical appearance so similar. An inherited trait is a particular characteristic or quality that is genetically passed down from our parents. What are some of our inherited traits? Gender, hair color, skin color, ear shape, blood group, and inherited diseases. Why isn't a person's weight an inherited characteristic? Your weight depends on your diet and other environmental factors such as gender, calorie intake, and lifestyle. What percentage of our DNA makes us look different from other people? You see that about 100% of all human DNA is identical. Exercise 3. You are to match the underlined word in the text with their synonyms. What part of speech are they? Let's check. Rapidly, quickly, surprisingly, remarkably, completely, entirely, without difficulty, easily. They are adverbs. In exercise 4, you are to match the words in bold in the text with their antonyms. Let's check. Foreign, native, common, unique, man-made, natural, different, alike. What parts of speech are they? Yes, they are adjectives. Now you are to tell three things you learned from the text. Listen to the opinion. I learned that people are different, as inherited traits are what distinguish one person from another. Some characteristics like gender and hair color are genetically passed down from our parents, while others, 
like weight and language, depend on environmental factors. I also learned that all people may look different, but in reality, nearly all human DNA is identical, and only less than 1% of our DNA makes us look different from other people. And now answer the question, would you change anything about your appearance? If so, what? Listen to the model. If I could change my appearance, then I would like to be a little bit taller. I would also like to have darker skin, a smaller nose and lighter eyes. Write your opinion in your copy books. Now let's remember our grammar. Open your books at page 18, exercise 1. Let's remember phrasal words and prepositions. The verb bring. You have to write the correct particle. Remember, bring about means cause something to happen. Bring out, publish. Bring up, raise a child, for example. Come across, find something by accident. Come down with, catch an illness. Come up with, invent, discover something. For example, Dias was brought up in the countryside. Finish this exercise in your copy books. In exercise 2, you are to fill in with prepositions to in as for. For example, Einstein has gone down in history as a genius. In exercise 3, you are to choose the correct word. Thomas Edison invented the photograph. In exercise 4, word formation, we can add the prefixes miss, this, re, to the beginning of nouns to make their negative or opposites. Fill in the correct word. For example, scientists are very careful to avoid the misuse of their findings. You are to finish all these exercises in your copybooks.